Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review on a, on a chilly evening. Um, today we're going over to a Laugh Brewery called a Munyard Brewery uh, for the, the Foss IPA. Uh, I will read if it says anything on the can. So it's Indie Pale Ale, 5.5%, um, brewed by father and son. And I did meet uh, the son, the good, good fellow. So here we go. A base of ale, wheat and Vienna malts create a perfect background for carefully selected hops, giving wide floral and citrus aromas. And uh, on the back, you've got a QR code. So if you scan, if you scan, scan that while I'm doing the video, you'll go to their website. And if anybody does, let me know if it works, because that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Um, you have to pause the video, mind. But anyway. I went over the other day, got, got um, a beer hole and uh, got my Munyard glass. Look at that, big tall pint glass. And uh, let's go. So I've just been to my son's school options night. And so they give you a load of options. But then they say, some pupils are on a pathway. That pathway negates the options. Absolutely disgusting. And the teacher would not, the deputy head would not veer from it. So there'll be a lot of fed up um, parents tonight saying, well, why even give us options if we can't? So my son, he's in the top, I don't know, top of the year for what he is. Which I'm proud of that, you know, it's a lovely thing, but still. Anyway, so here's the beer. Mind my rubbish pour. As always, Raggy's Beer Review. Worst pour on the, in the, on the internet. So as we can see, golden looking pour. In this light anyway, it looks gold to me in this light. It may look different to you. Um, plenty of carbonation coming off the bottom. Lovely crisp bright head. I'm looking forward to this. So yeah, went to the brewery the other day. Um, to the tap room. Met the, the, the chap who's the, the son. Um... And you know, I love their ethos behind the brewery. Uh, started last year in June 2023. Tough time to start a brewery in an industrial estate. Lots of breweries in industrial estates these days. Uh, the, the, the place itself is lovely and clean. I've done a review. The review will, is coming um, of the tap room. But a lovely bloke, top class bloke. And I do wish them all the best. So here we go. fruity nose, a bit of citrus on the nose. Ooh. Nice bit of citrus on the taste. It's a nice, crowd pleasing, easy drinking uh, session, um, sessionable IPA. People out there will say, yeah, but 5.5 isn't session. It absolutely is. <laughs> Lovely pour. Crystal clear. Um, one of four beers that they do in can. Three in can, one in bottle. My father traditionally in bottle. Uh, Patchwork Pale Ale, and there's another one somewhere along the lines. Uh, oh, the Hells of Eyes, a lager. Hells inspired lager. Like I say, uh, it'd be interesting to see the beers come down to Nottingham at some stage, or in and around Nottingham. You know, it's... Uh, uh, and for me, it... It was part of my lovely trip around Lincolnshire. Uh, I think it was a Sunday we went. Um, yeah, because we went to um, the Batemans Brewery pub, all pack in, in Louth. And um, we also went to Firehouse Brewery. So, doing my little trip. I I'm loving these, you know, these little holidays away because it, it gives Raggy's Beer Reviews. The chance to visit these places to get a beer hall if I've got the pennies to do it. Um, 
and to support the breweries. I mean, I have got a jumper now. I don't know where I put it. I bought a t-shirt rather. I bought a t-shirt from them. In fact, I bought two t-shirts this weekend. This fella. Better make sure I haven't chucked it in the bin by mistake. For a second then I'd be really really panicking that I'd, I'd, I'd binned the t-shirt when I chucked all the uh, cardboard away but yeah there's the t-shirt Munyard Brewery and uh, on the back yeah I like that it's nice um, to be fair I do intend to get some raggy beer reviews t-shirts again for the craft beer festival I ought to get a load, I ought to get five. So everybody, all the happy drinkers are wearing Raggy's beer reviews. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not that vain. Um, but yeah, lovely drop. As always with my beer reviews, let the air get to the beer. You don't drink a beer in literally a minute or so. Well, you could do, but... It's not always the best way to go on. So yeah, we're very disappointed with the school tonight. Um, my son's fuming. He wants to do certain courses he wants to do. And to be honest, he's not even interested in school. But he is clever. And does and always tries his absolute best. So it's, it's a very strange situation to be in. At school, I was the same at school, and uh, I mean, I chose physics, um, English, German. It makes me tickle that they, they want you to do religious studies. Um, and if we go for a meeting at the school, I'll turn around to them and say, there and then I'll say, so you want them to do religious studies to learn about morals and life skills? Okay. Answer me the question that um, most of the wars in the world are because of religion. And then talk to me about morals. <laughs> <laughs> but in any case, uh, let's get back to the beer. So if you're in the if you're in the Lauf part of the country, you know, get yourself over to this brewery tap room. Make sure it's open, of course. Um, very clean and crisp tap room. These days, um, they're, they're the heart and soul. Tap rooms are what keep breweries alive. Obviously, uh, a lot of brewers, you know, do a lot of hours and get a little from it, and it, it just seems to be the case. But hopefully, um, the good people will, you know, have a really great summer. Chairs outside, seating outside, uh, guest beers. Guest beers are always good. Um, and if Munyard are watching this, there are local breweries that probably you don't see in Lauf. Um, and uh, to have them on the bar could be interesting, you know, if, on keg. Um, this brewery is like Liquid Light, um, Black Iris for sure, Bang the Elephant, Alter Ego Brewing. And uh, maybe uh, like a... a uh, some sort of, especially with the with liquid light and black iris, maybe some sort of, uh, you know, they have some of your beers down here. You know, these these things can be done, can't they, with the tap rooms? <coughs> oh no! <coughs> I took it out on the wrong hole. I, I breathed before I swallowed. <clears throat> oh dear, not having the greatest of nights. <clears throat> like I say, a very easy drinking, crowd pleasing IPA. Nothing too twangy. <clears throat> 
just a good version of an RPA. Um, <clears throat> got me throw it back now. At a five for me. Well, would I drink it again? Hell yes. At a five for me, a good four point three out of five. One yard brewery. Have you been? Let me know. You know. Uh, have you had their beers? Let me know. And that's it for this beer review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.